Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your favorite introvert here and today we're going to be taking a look at the general settings of the Bebop 2 Power Edition and see what it has to offer. So let's get into it. First I want to say that I was unable to fully set up the Bebop 2 Power using my iPad. I could not get the Follow Me GPS and visual tracking icon to display. Even after connecting the Wi-Fi and ensuring everything was good to go, it still did not show up. So with that being said, let's jump over into another one of my Android devices and continue on. Okay, now that we are on an Android device, this is what the Free Flight app should look like when in the main menu area. Notice the Follow Me GPS and Visual Tracking icon here. Since I was unable to input my promo code in the system, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Simply select the I have a promo code in the bottom right corner of the app and the app will take you on a step-by-step -step basis to activate your promo code. Please note you must first have an account set up through Parrot before completing this step. Simply select the means of how you log on to your account and insert the promo code received with your new Bebop 2 Power. Now that the code is inserted, let's continue on. When first entering in, you're given an option to pair which cockpit glasses you will be using. We will not be using them in this video. Next, it asks us if we would like to activate hand launch feature, which allows us to toss the Bebop into the air and launch the drone. Let's check out the follow me in GPS visual tracking mode. It basically is telling me to double tap or highlight an object I want to track. This is pretty interesting but I'll have to look at this more and make another video about it later on. So let's get into the general settings of the Bebop 2 Power. We will start out by accessing it through the gear icon in the upper left hand corner of the screen. The tab opens into the interface settings menu where you can select and view all the essential settings you would want to configure or change. At the top you have piloting mode. The options are normal, ace, or joypad. These options select which type of RC setup you prefer to fly with. And you also have the ability to change flight modes as well with the swap button on the far right. Below it you have FPV mode with the selections between manual and auto with a configure button next to it. The configure button is for the cockpit glasses too since it has an adjustable inner pupillary eyepiece. You can use this to center the left and the right eye with the plus and the line. Below the FPV mode is the toggle between cockpit glasses and below it, the map type for your on-screen display. The hand launch toggle is also in this menu, so you don't have to worry about if it's always on or off. Moving to the piloting tab, this gives you the ability to change settings for your controller sensitivity and speed. You can adjust the sliders to either increase the rate at which the Bebop 2 power responds or reduce the rates. Your choices include video mode and sport mode, which is selectable in the on-screen display while you're in flight. You have the ability to change max tilt, max tilt speed, max vertical speed, and max rotational speed. Below that is the bank turns option. This option is if you want the drone to bank like a fixed wing aircraft in flight. Next is the safety tab. This menu lists the options for what the Bebop 2 does once connection is lost to the drone. You can adjust the time you want the drone to wait after connection is lost to initiate the return to home. Adjust the max altitude you want the drone to be able to reach, as well as the max distance you want your Bebop to be able to fly before it is stopped. The option for geofences here as well. Select this to have a virtual barrier that restricts the drone from flying out of a designated zone set up by you, the pilot.
The video tab is where you set up your recording preferences, whether you want the video in 720p or 1080p, the recording quality in standard or high, frame rates of 24, 25, and 30, roll stabilization. As the drone turns, roll stabilization enables the image to remain parallel, not tilted to the ground plane. This applies to both FPV and normal camera views. Also, to reduce the blinking caused by artificial light, you have the option to change the anti-flickering settings. You have the options between 50, 60, and auto. Moving on to the network settings, you have your network name. This lets you choose the name of your drone. Activate WPA2 to set up a password for your Bebop 2's Wi-Fi network. Location, you can select the country region you are in. Activate outdoors for flying outside. Wi-Fi bands, you may choose Wi-Fi channel or band or leave the setting on automatic select to give you the best option in your area. It is important to take note that the network name of the Bebop 2 can only contain letters, numbers, and underscores and must not exceed 32 characters in length. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and subscribe for more content. Thanks for checking out my channel and I'll see you next video.